than having a bunch of little kludgy things you added in to get your stuff to work. Interesting. Okay, guys, what what's your opinion on uh, upgrading? I, I understand the uh, least expensive version of Windows 7 is if you're uh, upgrading to the, the home version of, of uh, Windows 7. I think it's $120. So the most expensive is if you're buying the, the, the full version and you're going with the, the business release, and I think that's $299. And even though you can use the upgrade with Windows XP, you can't, apparently, you can't upgrade XP. You have to wipe the hard drive clean and do a clean install of the operating system. Is that what you guys hear? Yeah, that's right. Apparently, Microsoft have released a tool you can use to transfer all your data across. Okay. Um, but yeah, you have to basically lose the Windows install and start again. So you'd have to reinstall all your programs and things again afterwards. But you can transfer your documents and settings through an upgrade program that Microsoft have got out there. Okay. Okay. And cool. that's not a it's not a bad thing to happen. I know that previous upgrades to the operating system, Microsoft has said you can leave your operating system there and we'll just put the upgrades through. Almost every single person I've talked to who's done that has ended up going back saving their data, installing the operating system on a clean hard drive, just starting from scratch. Yeah, so that's always the best way. It's, it, yeah, and that's what Microsoft actually recommends, even though they say, yeah, you can leave it on there and upgrade. Just too much stuff that, that has been accumulating, you know, in the time you've used your computer, it's just it's just better. You're, you're better. You'll, it's a little more work up front. It saves you a lot of headaches down the road. Okay. Well, that, you know... I, I've said many years, there's nothing like a clean OS install, and I guess you guys agree with that. Okay, so uh, wrapping this up, what's your advice on uh, who should upgrade and who shouldn't upgrade? Ben, what, what do you say? Understand the question? Are you? Nope, oh, Ben's not there. <laughs> you there, Danny? Yes. Okay, he's probably going to click in. Now wait, oh. <laughs> oh, Ben's just turned off for me. Hey, we need to call him back. Well, I can't now because it says he's offline. Uh-oh. Maybe his machine locked up and he had to, <laughs> had to reboot because Vista, Vista, huh, you think? <laughs> but I'm not saying that, man. <clears throat> okay, apparently we've lost Ben Morris. His uh, Vista machine is locked up, so I'll ask the question oh. to Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, who do you, who would you recommend upgrading to Windows XP? Who would, who would you recommend just holding off? Well, uh, folks who are considering going to Vista, or you got me doing it now, Bruce. <laughs> folks who, XP, Vista, whatever. Folks that are going to go to Windows 7, I would say businesses, uh, particularly in those are larger corporate environment, because of the technology that they're going to use, you almost have to upgrade. Uh, if you don't, People, like I said, you end up with these folks who are saying, "I've oh, there's new hardware, there's new technology, I want to use it. And you may not be able to find drivers that work on the older operating systems, uh, particularly stuff that's older than XP, like 2000 and, and back. I would say for the home user, if you are happy with the access that you currently have, and if you don't think that you're going to be getting any new funky computer-related toys for Christmas this year, uh, maybe you don't want to spend the money. If you uh, if you are one of these bleeding edge kind of people like we are, then yeah, you probably want to do it. Otherwise, I would say you know what, just if 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 you've been using the computer for three years and it's working well, maybe you need to wait on Windows Seven until you go buy a new computer. Yeah, I think that that would be my advice too. If you if you're still running XP, you probably ought to just go ahead and plump down the cash for a, a whole new system. You can get a new Dell for 400 bucks if it's going to cost $200 for uh, Windows 7. You might as well just spend the 400 and get a whole new system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's uh see if I can get Ben back here. That is too funny. <laughs> Hello. Hey, uh so there he is. so we're wondering if Vista locked up on you. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't, but I'm going to blame Vista anyway. <laughs> oh, man. It's a sign. I need to upgrade. Oh, yeah. Come on. yeah, there we there go. There you go. Yeah. I was asking who, who, who you recommend upgrading, who you re recommend uh, holding off for now. Obviously, you're, you're going to need to upgrade. Uh, <laughs> I need to upgrade. Um, you just people. need a new computer. That's what it is, Ben. Yeah, <laughs> That's pretty true, actually. I do. <laughs> yeah, as to who needs to upgrade, um, obviously, all the sort of early adopters are going to want to upgrade as soon as they can. And if you've got the money to burn, it's, it's going to be better than Vista and better than XP. So it's, it's worth it. For just casual home users, though, we want that tech savvy, and they're using XP at the moment. I wouldn't recommend upgrading. 
because I think they're going to struggle getting all the installation and getting all their their personal data transferred over. I think it's going to be more effort for them than it's worth. So if they're only using a computer for a bit of internet surfing or something like that, it's probably not going to really make a difference to them. And if anyone is planning on buying a new computer in the next six months or so, which I probably am now, um, I would probably say to hold off as well, because obviously you can get a new computer with Windows 7 installed on it. So. Right. And it's probably going to be a lot cheaper to do it right. with a new PC than to buy it separately. And we all know that Microsoft made sure to have this available before the uh, holiday shopping season this year. So maybe Santa will bring us uh, all new uh, Windows 7 PCs. That's <laughs> Santa. <laughs> yeah, all right. Good show, guys. Good to hear your opinions on this. Um, thank you for joining Warp Talks Tech Talk, and uh, we'll be with you next time. Uh-huh.